Hey guys, it's Sam here. I just came back from taking back the AP Computer Science Principles exam, and I just wanted to give my thoughts on the test. So this purpose of the purpose of this video is to if you're if you just took the test as well and you want to see other people's opinions on it, as well as those who are considering taking the class for next year. And for those group of people, I say do not take this class. <laughs> so let's just jump straight right into how I studied for this. Um, I used the five steps to a five McGraw Hill, the second edition. Um, it was cheaper when I bought it, but it was a really good book. And then what I read actually was on the test, which, you know, I actually didn't study for this class as much as, as vigorously as I did for my four other APs, because I'm not majoring in computer science. And even if you were majoring in computer science, you wouldn't be taking this class. <laughs> so it, then the stuff in this book, it was actually on the test. And, you know, I opened the book the weekend before the test. Today's Monday, and today was when I took the test. And I everything I read was on the test. I've said that so many times, but it's a good book. Use this. So with that out of the way, and ha having said I didn't study too much for this, I could easily say that the MCQ was it's just so easy. Um, out of all the questions, there are the most... They're through like three different groups. They have binary questions, they have vocabulary questions, and they have coding questions. You need to spend some like at least two minutes of your life just knowing how to convert binary to decimal and vice versa. And then you'll be completely fine on that. For the vocab, I recommend looking at Khan Academy's vocab list and making a quiz for yourself or whatnot. Do what you need to to learn those terms because those are going to be there as well. But don't worry, they're really easy and really basic on surface level. And finally, the coding questions is something that you should take your time on. So out of the 70 minutes that I had to take, I'm sorry, two hours to take, I had to two hours I had to take 70 questions. I had 25 minutes left. And considering I'm a pretty slow test taker and the other four AP tests that I took, I had three minutes to two seconds left on time with the MCQ. That goes to show that there's a lot of time that you can sp spend on the the coding questions and those are the only questions that if you look back you can actually catch mistakes the other questions are mostly recall um, obviously you could re redo your binary stuff again but that's simple addition so you probably wouldn't mess up on that but overall the mcq was really nice really easy but it was absolutely worthless to the long run of my life obviously that goes to, that goes with most ap classes but this is stuff yeah you would have learned in fifth grade elementary back in computer class I'm sorry, but yeah. So let's move on to the create task. Um, one of the first things I re I'd recommend is to get a group because it was a lot easier on me, both the time and just stuff I had to do. And you can just do a really simple topic as well. We just did like this quiz program and it asked the user questions and gives them points on based on that. So I mean, I can't show you because the date is actually um, in three days, May 20th. So those of you who haven't started can still use your time and finish that and possibly get a four or five. So let's talk about these writing, supplementary writing and video. It's annoying that they make us do captions for the video. I can't just talk because I can't be identified by the creator, air quotes. So that's gonna, that was annoying. And I'm so pissed off that they made us do that, but it's fine. And for the writing, I just one tip is that you need to be very specific. You need to identify this, this, this on the rubric and make sure you tell them. It'll be it's easy for them to give you points. And that's what you want to be doing. And that's pretty much the test. There's not a lot to it. It was very easy. <laughs> Walking into the testing room, there were about 20% of the people you'd see at a normal um, AP test. So it, it was a meme from the start. It's still, it's still a meme to this day. Uh, I didn't have a very nice teacher, but that's fine. The content still wouldn't have made it better anyway. I give this class a four out of 10. It's practically worthless. And if you're not, it's like it's the, the purpose of the class is to like introduce you to computer science. But as I've said, from both perspectives or any or all perspectives, it's a useless class and it's a joke that I wish I didn't do. But with that, um, I'll close up, close off. I'll be logging on to Hypixel Bedwars now. And overall, I'm so glad that we're done.
Congre uh, good luck to the AP stack kids who are still taking the test right now as I upload this. But yeah, see ya.